everybody, this is Tanya. Okay, so I'm back at it again. This time I'm making three ingredients, uh, rolls, hot rolls. And I got this recipe from uh, Whippoorwill Holler. And I will leave their uh, video in the description with the link so you can go back and watch that as well. So Miss Lori said that you had, you need two cups of self rising flour. So I have my flour measured out already in here. One cup of milk. Oops. And she used sweet milk or whole milk. <laughs> and three heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. So I just got the store brand mayonnaise because I don't really eat mayonnaise. I'm a mustard girl. But all you do is mix this together. Now here's what here's what I'm going to do as well, which is where I defer a little bit from. Uh, Lori's recipe. I'm going to go ahead and oh by the way this should yield about six large rolls just so you know. So how I'm going to defer from it is I'm going to make three of the rolls just like she said. I'm just going to go ahead and make the recipe. The second set of three or the second set I'm going to add cheese and some garlic to it just to give it a twist because y'all know how I feel about cheese and garlic. So we're going to see because I love cheese and garlic and those uh, homemade biscuits I made, the two ingredient biscuits. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it, uh, the link in the description so you can check that out. My new favorite. I would not be buying any more biscuits, any more canned biscuits. I'm just saying. All right. So let's get started with this. I have all my stuff written down so I can keep on track. All right. So it says three heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise and it just means go in and get some that's what it means you don't have to lever it off just get you some and put it in there like I said I'm not a, a mayonnaise girl no I'm not a mustard girl but I have some other recipes that, I, uh, that I'm going to make that actually call for mayonnaise. So I figured I'd go ahead and buy the mayonnaise. Some recipes you can substitute, like Miracle Whip or something like that. And no, they are not sponsoring either one, this video. But um, it depends on the fat, I think. I think that's the logic behind it. The reason is that sometimes they tell you strictly use mayonnaise. And so I'm going to do like she did. She just gradually added the milk in. She didn't add it all at once. So that's what I'm going to do as well. And just stir it. And what you're doing is incorporating the, the Miracle Whip, the milk, and the flour. And I did say this was self rising flour, right? I use the Martha White brand. You use whatever brand that you like. But like I said, I grew up on Martha White. So that's what I'm using. Looks like I'm going to need all the whole cup of, her, of um, milk for mine. I don't think she used it all. But I found that it depends on what brand you use, as well as um, the conditions outside. It makes a difference as well. Okay, so I have my mixture combined. See? And I have my pan already sprayed. And she said to do it like three fourth of a um, three fourth of a it looks like one big heaping I think that's what we're gonna say
And I'm just using this other spoon so I don't have to use my hand. But if you have something else you want to use, use that. I'm just saying. Make it a little bit more in this one, make it three fourths full. So it's this one. And like I said, if I get more, I'm not going to be mad at it. Okay, that's the straight batter. Now, what we're going to do is add some garlic powder you use as much garlic as you want and a little bit of garlic salt not much And some cheese. Now this is uh, the blend I, blend I had already open, so that's why I'm using this. And this is the um, Walmart great uh, Walmart great value Fiesta blend. And I'm just eyeballing it. Put in however much you want to put in. Y'all know me with cheese, so need I say more? I need to say any more on that one. I'm just gonna mix this together. You, know, you can take any recipe and make it your own. If cheese is not your thing, then you can do you know like chives and onion or bacon would be good. You know you make it fit you. Like I said, y'all know how I feel about cheese, so I don't think I've made it a secret. And I don't know if adding this cheese in here has changed the consistency, because it's not as loose, but I'm sure it's going to be just as good. I'm just saying. Okay, so I have my rolls in my muffin tin. Like I said, these three are just plain. And these three are the cheesy garlic. Um, oven preheated, preheated, <laughs> preheated to 375. And these should cook for, what did she say? 13 to 15 minutes. All right, so I'll bring you back. Once these are done, I get them out the oven. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I have it out the oven now. And I did, I let it cook for about, um, I think it was 16 minutes. Yeah, I did 16 minutes in my oven. And of course it wasn't brown enough for me, so I turned the broil on so that I can get it a little bit browner. You know, I like brown food. There you go. And again, these three are just plain and these six are the cheesy garlic. Let's give it a try. We are gonna see what we think about it. They look good. I'm thinking they're probably going to taste good. See, look at that. Again, this is the plain one. And I did put some margarine on top, just so you know. Well, they're pretty good. Again, this is the plain. That's pretty good. I like it. So if I like that, I have to love this one, right? That's the cheesy garlic.
Mm hmm. Yep. It's good. Winner. All the way around. Winner. All the way around. These are delicious. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to like the plain ones or not. They are really good. And of course, the cheesy garlic ones are superb. Okay. So again, um, I will link Whipper Will. <laughs> Can't speak. Whipper Will Holler. I will uh, link their video in the description so you can go and watch uh, Lori make these as well. Okay. Like I said, she just made the plain ones, but I think she said she did has done some variations, but don't hold me to that. But these are good. These are good. You definitely want to try that. All right. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and leave a legacy. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.